from Colonel Corney on YouTube. He said to Kim, did they video you when you sh were showered in jail? This is a very uh, good question. Um, here's an interesting uh, thing about my case. Uh, it's a conspiracy case. In the US indictment, they charged us with a mafia type crime, saying that me and my uh, software developers have basically formed a mafia type organization uh, to commit crimes, uh, crimes of copyright. And what you do not do in a conspiracy case is put the conspirators together in the same jail wing, in the same jail, so that they can run around together and while in remand uh, debate the case and, and basically align their stories and you know come up with ideas about what, what they could say. So I am 100% uh, certain that they did that in our case. They put us together while on remand uh, uh, to spy on us. And where we were uh, in Mount Eden prison, they have a very modern wing there where every cell has a communication system and you can basically trigger an emergency at any time and then someone will answer the, the call and talk to you in your cell. So they are using these systems to spy on you while you are uh, incarcerated and then they are putting defendants together to try and gather intelligence about the made-up conspiracy and they must have been extremely frustrated uh, when they listened to us because I was sitting there in jail and I shit you not I was I was saying you know what I, I would tell him I was telling my co-defendants what I would call my yacht that I'm going to buy with the money that they will have to pay me for destroying my business. We were sitting there reading the indictment, uh, and if it wasn't so sad and we wouldn't be in jail, it was laughable. So the only intelligence that they could ever gather was us completely uh, destroying uh, any allegation that was made and uh, you know not in any way sitting there and worrying about oh my god you know we're going to jail for 20 years those were not the type of conversations we have and i do hope that through the court process that i'm engaged in now we will get to the bottom of it and i hope that we will get the transcripts of these communications. I want all the raw data of all the communications of everything that was spied on, because if they do, if they achieve one thing, it is to show that I'm completely innocent of the charges. They have covered an entire month of my life prior to my arrest. They have uh, listened to all my conversations and there is not one bit, one iota of any criminal mens rea, any criminal discussion with me and my partners in my business. There is nothing at all to suggest that there was anything criminal going on. And uh, that is one of the reasons why I'm fighting uh, to get access to that material. The other reason, of course, is to show the amount of intrusion that happened, what technologies they have used. This is the first time where you will not see it just on a slide from Edward Snowden. Theoretically, you know, I will be the first case to show people around the world that they've actually done it, how they have done it, and that should then lead to new legislation prohibiting this. And another reason why I want to have this data, and this is so important, I want to go after the companies that allowed this to happen. I want to go after Apple and sue Apple for allowing their software to be backdoored and allowing mass surveillance uh, and turning an iPhone into a spy satellite. That is unacceptable, and private companies 
and listed companies that are engaging in partnering with spy agencies or not preventing their technologies to be abused for this kind of stuff, they need to pay. There need to be class action lawsuits against these companies because that's the only language they understand. If they have to pay a billion dollar in damages because they undermined our rights, they help to undermine it, or they did not do enough to prevent it, then they need to be punished. So that is why I'm fighting for the raw data. There are you know, multiple arenas that I will extend my battle to once I have that data. Uh, and yeah, that, that was a very good question. I hope I answered it.